What's up, Internet? Welcome. This is a story about a 72 GTO faded glory. This old Pontiac, the, the story we got from the previous owner is that he found it in a barn in Illinois, dug it out of the barn, got it running, and last year's Power Tour, he showed up at the Illinois venue of Power Tour. Um, my wife and her father were on that Power Tour and they walked past this car not knowing that we'd be standing here today. Um, Cynthia got home from Power Tour, jumps on Facebook Marketplace. It's the devil, everybody knows. She finds the car, says, hey honey, will you jump on a plane and go get this car for me? Of course, I'm an idiot. I love cars. I'll spend all of my money on cars. So here we are. This thing was an original 400 big block Pontiac, original 400 automatic trans. Me and Colton jumped in a plane, had some drinks on the way, met the guy there at the airport. It wouldn't even start in the parking lot, so we were like, great, this will be fun. Anyways, we get it running, it required an ignition module. We ended up using six ignition modules to drive this from St. Louis back to Texas, but here we sit today. It is now frame off, frame brace kit, full complement of Speedtech coilover suspension, the chicane kit, uh, a 408 Stroker LS with a Pro Charger, um, Tremec Magnum F Series T56, 373 gear set, do its radiator, American Auto wire on uh, the full chassis wiring harness. It's a PSI harness on the motor. Uh, Detroit Speed hooked us up. Brake booster, master cylinder, wiper motor, great combo. You can't mess with that. Um, vintage air is hidden behind the smooth firewall. We have not done a full interior in this car because it's pretty OG and it's pretty cool. Um, so we're just gonna drive this car because it's a vibe and you're gonna like it. So we named this 72 GTO Faded Glory because the paint, it's old, it's faded. But you know what? This car, full of glory. It blows the friggin' tires off with ease. What a badass ride. Man, you wanna talk about a vibe. Why a Pontiac? <laughs> this thing's are rad. After having done a lot of Chevelles and stuff, only done a couple of Pontiacs, but very similar chassis with the A-body frame underneath. But there's something about the Pontiac that seems to be better built. And back in the day, I think it was a competition between Pontiac, Oldsmobile, Chevrolet, to see who could build the better car. And, you know, I think some of the designers behind Pontiac just uh, had more tricks up their sleeve, I guess. Nothing too crazy on this, just a ported head on a 408 short block with the Pro Charger. We stuck it on the dyno. This thing at the top end made 622 horsepower at the wheels. Makes good power. And I think that's, that's a good number to not just break shit. That mid six or 700 power number will generally beat 90% of anything you meet on the street and it won't break parts over and over again. It's just a good combination. So this is a factory chassis underneath here, but highly modified. The rear section over the rear end has been shortened for a mini tub. So we'll move to probably a 345 tire if we can fit it or a 325 eventually in the future as we're building this car with parts from Holly. Suspension front and rear is all speed tech performance, coilovers, uh, double adjustable Viking shocks, the chicane kit up front. You really can't ask for a better bolt-on type package. This is about as good as it gets for that premium middle market before you step into a custom chassis and steering racks and just a, a whole nother level of things. Keeping the numbers matching frame, adding quality suspension, frame brace kits, all that stuff, 
it's an affordable option to get into a really modernized classic car that'll handle today's speeds, handle today's horsepower, and then we typically go front to back on a vehicle. So new wiring, heat, AC, cup holders, phone chargers, all the amenities of a modern car, but in a classic body. And that's something that we appreciate and something that we love to do on a daily basis. So if we can help you, reach out 817-832-FAST or ProTuringTexas.com or just stop in the shop. Come say hi, see what we're doing and check out all the great things that you see on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. You see that stuff in person. If we still have a customer's vehicle, we're happy to show it to you. Or we have some of our personal stuff because everyone that works for ProTuring Texas is wholeheartedly involved in the industry. We all love classic cars. We all just want to build stuff for great customers. And we want to build something for you. Come and visit.